Hi guys, DC Brakes here on the DBS channel with a little video about a brand new AI tool called Jammerhook. It's an AI assistant and the way it works is you simply insert it as a plugin on your master and then whatever you play through it, it will listen to, it will analyze it and then it will make recommendations for different audio content that matches to that sound so that you can then start to build up ideas uh, really quickly. So of course, to start with, we need to give it something to listen to and I'm gonna be using a vocal as a starting point for this session and I'm gonna be using, in fact, an AI generated vocal that I made using a studio which is another AI application you can check out the video that I made about this also on the DBS channel if I just jump into a studio you can hear and see what this sounds like so give me a reason and I'll be and I'm in control so all I've done is I've processed that a little bit in live and I've pitched it up and added some reverb to give it a more sampled and slightly ravey feel and this is what we're going to be feeding Jammer Hook to get some recommendations on Just like the seasons you're taking. So the way that it organizes its search results is through three different categories. We've got harmony. This is where Jammerhook will prioritize harmonic similarity. All the matches will be in the same key and stretched to the correct BPM. And this is great because it means that even if a loop in the cloud that it's found is uh, maybe you know the wrong tempo or slightly different pitch, it will automatically do those things to save you the time so you can quickly preview if it's gonna work with your uh, tune idea or not. There's also the rhythmic uh, category as well, and this is where everything has been prioritized according to the rhythmic similarity. And so as it says, tonal matches will be retuned to the correct key and stretched to the correct BPM, but it might not match a chord progression. And then finally, of course, you've got drums, where as you might expect, the uh, percussion and drums are matched rhythmically only. We've then got a filtered search here so we can find uh, what we want more easily by browsing by specific instruments or genres or moods. And I mentioned there the uh, loops being matched in the cloud and that's because Jammerhook has a massive cloud library as well where it will actually search, but you can also have it match locally and you can set folders in your hard drive to be analyzed and then use that if you don't want to use Jammerhook's uh, loops. So let's go in and do a, well, let's just see what it's uh, come up with um, to start with. So we've got in the harmony category, let's just pick the first one here and listen to that. So that might work uh, quite nicely. You can see here from this drop down what it's done in terms of transposing this sample to fit. If we come into the settings tab, we can see here uh, we have some different settings that we can apply in terms of matching by the beats per minute. We can set the playback volume. Um, we can actually just attenuate that down a little bit if we need to. Um, and then we can also set the uh, playback uh, being snapped to either um, zero in the project or wherever basically the playhead um, is located as well. Um, there's also this normalized match playback, which is really useful so that quiet matches are kind of boosted to um, make it easier for them to be heard basically when you're playing and you can also set uh, the maximum shift down and up that it will apply obviously the more you go or the less you go it's going to affect the quality of the loop when it comes to your project hey everyone i hope you've been enjoying this tutorial at dbs institute we provide degree level training to help you take your skills to the next level and start your career in music production head to the link to find out more So let's just come back into our results and this is now synced to our DAW. So if I press play in the DAW and play in here, it will then sync up so that the relevant part of the sample matches the relevant part of the loop. So if you want that, uh, you'll see that this one I've already previously um, purchased. And you say purchase, you get 20 free loops uh, when you sign up for Jammerhook. So it's worth uh, checking out just for that alone. And um, you can also add it to your favorites if you're browsing and you just want to kind of build up a bit of a library of potential uh, sounds that you want to do without actually uh, buying them. So let's say you do want that, you simply click here and then drag it into your DAW and then you've got that in your project. So let's do a bit of a filter search and try and find something a bit more useful. I'm going to go into uh, here and use the search to find a piano category. 
and now it's going to give me a whole bunch of uh, different uh, piano options. Here's one I found earlier. You can see I've already owned this one, which I know works well with this, just to save a bit of time here. Let's listen to that with the vocal. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's jump in and find some drums instead. I'm just going to reset all of that. Filter drums. And uh, because this is 174 and you know, I make drum and bass, I'm going to also choose the uh, genre as drum and bass. There's also jungle, let's add that. Let's make it dance ball and energetic and see what we have there. Let's come over to drums to get that rhythmic match. And then because we can see the waveform, we can get a pretty good idea of what kind of drums that we're going to be getting. We've got the BPM also in the name here, so I wouldn't go for like 95, for example. I'll try and find something that's close to 174. And uh, I think if I just scroll through these, I should hopefully find one I found earlier. Yes, um, this one here. Let's grab that one. Let's hear how we're getting on now. Okay, starting to take shape. So let's try and find ourselves some uh, bass now. Again, we'll go bass, we'll go uh, drum and bass. I'll keep this a bit broader um, in terms of the kind of search results that we get. Let's try all of those ones for now. Okay, don't necessarily want that vibe. That could be good, let's try that. Close, but no cigar for me. Let's try this one. It's not really a bass sound. A bit dance floor. Okay, so some of those work really well, others not so much, probably down to the filter search that I had, uh, including uh, kind of the EDM and uh, future bass, uh, probably not really the vibe I wanted to go for. But as you can see, it's really quick to build up ideas using Jammerhook. And I think that's down to a few things. First of all, the way that it automatically time stretches and key matches everything to fit your project makes it really quick to see if something's going to fit in your project. You might then need to still to kind of go in and edit it, um, but that's uh, obviously fine. Um, the actual filter search is really deep and has lots and lots of different uh, things within it, which makes it really useful. I would say it'd be quite handy to then be able to further refine the search results with a search within each of these categories. That would be uh, really useful. Um, but also, I think the last thing is that the quality of the loops uh, in the cloud are also really high. <clears throat> and I believe it actually um, links to Loop Masters and some other providers to give you those loops. So you're actually also getting access to high quality loops through some of those platforms as well. So all in all, a really useful tool. You get 20 free loops when you uh, sign up for a free trial as well. So go and check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.